<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the Pot Still Life. We had a lot of food. It was a lot of food. We had a lot of food. <laughs> We're back with a really special bottle. I'm hurting. In one second. <laughs> We just hit a crap ton of food. It was good. It was, uh, it was bougie, to say <laughs> yeah, the least. Chicken good. nugget Alfredo. <laughs> why not? If you're wondering why chicken nugget Alfredo, it's exactly what it sounds like. Chicken nuggets, and you just cut them with a knife, make Alfredo sauce and noodles, and then you just slap hey. them together. It was Alfredo sauce from scratch, though. It was though. really good. <laughs> Come on. That's why I kept eating. <laughs> that being said, I'm really, really excited. I got my first bottle of Blood Oath. This is Blood Oath Pack 7. I like how oh, you did that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That. Yeah, that was smooth. That's a gorgeous presentation. I don't know about you guys, but I, I love presentation and the way that they've done this bottle uh, in the box like this. I mean, this is just... <laughs> Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So those of you who don't know, Blood, uh, Blood Oath, this is coming out of Luxro Distillery uh, up in Kentucky. It is John Rimpe, I think is how you pronounce his name. Rimp, Rimpe, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, dude. Uh, he's a uh, master blender and he's the one that is responsible for blending each Blood Oath pack. Okay. So basically what this is, is they're taking multiple uh, aged bourbons and then blending them together to get what he thinks is the kind of that perfect blend uh, gotcha. each year. Each release, uh, they release one per year. This was just released late spring, early summer. So this is a 14 year bourbon, an eight year bourbon, and then another eight year bourbon that has been um, finished in, I can't even pronounce it. It's a wine cask uh, out of uh, Bordeaux, France. Yeah, Sauvignon. So, Sauvignon, something like that. It's a fancy, it's a bougie wine bougie. cask finished on one of the eight year bourbons. So this is a blend of two eight year bourbons and a 14 year. It looks like it says Suaveness. Suaveness barrels. Sorry. I'll take your word for it. Sure. Uh, yeah. Probably butchered that too. It's probably yeah. some French barrel that's like Suaveness. <laughs> I'm not huge on buying really expensive bottles of bourbon. Yeah. I think that there's a personal sweet spot for bourbons. I think anywhere from the 50 to 80 ish dollar range, you get tons of value in that dollar range yeah. of most bourbons out there. <clears throat> this was quite expensive. Matter of fact, you found this at the at the liquor store for me, didn't you? Yeah, and I had to call you to make sure that we wanted to spend the scratch on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, was $179.99. Yeah. yeah. Which is cheaper than what they're selling for online. Yeah, if you look online for it, it's going well above that if you yeah. if you can even find it. Yeah, and this was the last one left and um, it didn't look like they had much of anything when it came to I guess Blood Oath doesn't really put much out, do they? Yeah, no, it, it's very limited release. They release it once per year, and it's kind of one of the things, once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. Um, so I'm super excited because I've never had the chance to try Blood Oath in the past. I've never even run across it yeah. in the past. So when you, <clears throat> since you that text, he's, he's like, hey, I'm stopping by a store. Is there anything you might be looking for? I'm like, hey, if you see a Blood Oath, give me a call. Yeah. I never expected you to see a Blood Oath yeah. in the store. Let's just jump in this. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. I'm excited to try it. It is a finish, but man, it's only, they only finished like one really great pop, was it? Okay. Since only one of the blended in here is finished and the other two are not, I'm gonna be interested because most of the finished bourbons You today, spilled some. You spilled a drop. I'm, I'm excited. Right. All right. I'm just gonna just go for it, go. Wow. Oh, that smells good. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. That smells a bit odd. Is it because it costs more than twenty bucks? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So is this what is this what wealth <laughs> smells like? This is what money smells like, AJ. <laughs> is money stinks. <laughs> no. So this is this is your your aged bourbon in there. So it's definitely it, you're picking up the smell of, of something that's got some age on it. That's that fourteen year yeah. coming through. And then there's a you can smell that wine cask grapey sweetness yeah. in there. It's it's coming in on the nose. You know what? I think maybe when I brought the Glen Karen up to my nose the first time, I may have breathed into it and I caught some of that um, some that Alfredo? leftover Alfredo. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the glass clear of the stank Alfredo sauce, it smells pretty decent. Yeah, see, yeah. I'm picking up like this creamy note on the smell. You you deal with the flavor profile. I'll tell them whether it smells like garbage or it smells divine. 
Dude, I'm thinking this, this is, is in between. <laughs> this smells so good to me. <laughs> so I good don't know. To me. I mean, yeah. I mean, you got a good nose, though. Apparently, mm. better than mine, at least. Yeah, well, I don't know if I got a good nose, but well, it's good enough for me. Who knows if you got a good nose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. That is beating the hell out of the back of my throat right now. <laughs> it's definitely. Wow. That's it is, kind it is of strong. Oak very oak forward. That's that's right. where it like it hits you in the front. Yep. The that oaky. Yeah. You know that charred oak flavor yeah. kind of hitting right, a little bit of astringent almost. Kind of hitting right up front. Gotcha. What proof is this? It's that's not. Good. It's ninety eight point six proof. Ninety eight point six. Yeah. A little under a hundred, but like it, it, it feels like it, it's like one hundred and thirty almost to me. It's a little warmer. Yeah. Than you would think at ninety eight. Come back in for that second sip. The oak note is turning down just a little bit. Okay, that was too bad. Creaminess coming yeah. forward. Yeah, that first one was like, wow, gosh, maybe it's because it was all that Alfredo sauce is yep. trying, trying to punch it down. Yep. But that second one was good. Yeah, and here's a note: if you eat a really heavy, rich meal right before you start tasting, it will affect the first flavors yeah. that you're tasting. That's first couple sips. They're gonna be they they're gonna be off from what it yeah. should be based off of what you just had. So I want to know how you like that. Still getting the oakiness, but it's not as forward as it was that first sip. Okay. Kind of a creamy cherry note mid palate. Still that nice kind of warm vanilla kind of flowing into the the finish on that. That finish is long. It is. Yeah. It lingers. It they lingers. should call this the blood linger because it, it stays in your mouth for a hot New York minute. It's a really well balanced finish. It doesn't get, the oak goes away, That's that forward, that oak forward goes away. That finish is sweet and kind of creamy. Yep, it is. I like it. It's good? I like it. Here's the thing. There's a $25 bottle of Kirkland bottled in vine that I would drink before this. <laughs> All right, so because it, it tastes, I can't right. believe how good that bottle tastes. This is good. This, this is good. This is very good. Yeah. So here's the question, and this is the question: Is Blood Oath Pack Seven at one hundred and eighty dollars? Yeah. What we paid for. Is it worth one hundred and eighty dollars? Would I pay pay that for it again? For the exclusivity of it, maybe. We've had really good cheaper bourbon. I don't know if I'd pay it again. I'll try to make this bottle last as long as possible, show it off to all my friends, and then uh, and then not buy it again. Unless it was on I, sale somewhere. I have to agree with you. It's very good. I enjoy it, and especially for a finished bourbon, I like the fact that they're only finishing one of the barrels, and then the other two are just straight up bourbons yeah. that are being mixed in, because I'm not necessarily a huge fan of cast fin or finished bourbons that much. I mean, I enjoy them here and there, but I can be in the mood for them. Yeah. I personally think it's a little overpriced. I might try pack eight when it comes out next year. Oh, we're gonna try pack eight. <laughs> we're gonna try pack eight. And honestly, I can see that with a cigar. That'd be a nice little sipper out yeah. on the patio with a cigar. I could do that. If you have the funds and you enjoy cigars, and if you can find it and it's on sale, pick it up. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. And until next time, be safe, enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.